St. Patrick wasn't even Irish. He was actually from Wales. And that, my friends, is a fact of life. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to That's the Facts of Life, where we go through all the topics that matter to you and bring you just the facts. Today's topic is, respect your elders, it's Venera's rules. But first, let's check in on that naughty list. Topping the list this week is a recently barred rep for unauthorized trades, unsuitable recommendations, and a whole lot more. Apparently, the rep grossly misunderstood a Colgate ad claiming to reduce 90% of plaque germs that cause gun problems to actually mean reducing 90% of client shares won't cause retirement problems. As many as 11 times, he sold virtually all the customer's Colgate Palmolive stock, which she had accumulated over 28 years of employment with the company, even though she told him not to do this because it was a reliable source of dividends and it provided her with long-lasting investment confidence. <laughs> From 2010 to 2015, he carried out 82 unauthorized trades totaling nearly $15 million and allowing him to live up, his, live up to his motto, one share lighter within one week. <laughs> when confronted about this, he blamed the trades on a computer glitch. As if all this wasn't bad enough, he then proceeded to charge her more than $375,000 in markups, markdowns, and fees, depriving her of substantial dividends. He did attempt to ease her concerns, though, by telling her, Relax, my firm will totally pay you back. <laughs> Speaking of paying you back, FINRA continued their pursuit of happiness and for advisors that like to prey on the elderly as they recently charged an Oklahoma broker for stealing $36,000 from an 83-year-old man with dementia. Allegedly, the broker took more than $22,000 that the customer had left in his car following a lunch meeting after the client had liquidated his retirement account. A month later, the broker filled out a signed blank check from the customer for another $22,000 and listed it as a loan. <laughs> a loan for what, you may ask? Well, it turns out the broker wasn't very good at gambling and liked to do it a lot at online and uh, on-site horse race betting. I'm not that good at this, which was his handle at his favorite online site, saw him lose almost $130,000 last year. In September, the same month he committed his first act of conversion, he made more than 38 deposits for over $17,000 into this account. Perhaps next time he might want to stick to something that's a little more his speed. My Little Ponies, for instance. But fear not, my early rising friends, for help is soon on the way, as the SEC recently approved a new FINRA rule that is designed to protect seniors and other specified adults from financial exploitation. The new FINRA rule 2165 will take effect on February 5, 2018, and its accompanying amendments for record-keeping requirements in FINRA Rule 4512 will address an issue that has become one of the biggest hot-button topics in recent years. According to FINRA, approximately 10,000 Americans will turn 65 every day for the next 10 years, and their investments will account for more than 75% of all the financial assets in the United States. This, of course, helps put into perspective why both the SEC and FINRA have made senior financial exploitation top-level examination priorities. Well, that'll do it for us today. To learn more about industry news, check out the Compliance Digest, and don't forget to tune in next month for an all-new episode. Oh, and in case you didn't know, St. Patrick's color was actually a light shade of blue, not green. The color green wasn't associated with the holiday until the end of the 18th century when it was linked with the Irish independence movement. And that, my friends, is a fact of life. <laughs> <laughs>